Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Promise Gaming with more Hearts of Iron 4 Kaiserreich. Playing as the Qing Empire, now leader of the Chinese United Front against the Japanese incursion into the Empire. So all of the other remaining cliques have agreed to put aside our differences, at least temporarily, until such a time that the Empire of Japan can be defeated. After that, I have no idea what's going to happen. But we are going to take out the treacherous Anqing clique, or Anqing clique, sorry, whatever it's supposed to be. So we'll finish them off quickly if we can. Uh, we have a few openings. It looks like our allies are doing a good job. Then I want to take out the legation cities here. And then if I have to, I'll force a lot more troops up here to take out the Fengqian government. We're getting very, very close around their capital. Just a bit longer and we will finally have them down. Wish we had a lot more factories so I could start producing a mean amount of artillery for the breakthrough. But if we don't have infantry equipment, we're not going to survive. So I'm still prioritizing that even though it kind of hurts and I wish I didn't have to. Um, what else we want? Well, let's see, we're still working on our doctrines, and that'll be helpful. Not that it's going to do me a lot of good, since I don't have a lot of support companies, but oh well. I don't have any signal companies actually implemented, so that doesn't matter. Um, we could go ahead of time on our infantry equipment, and this is pretty much the only thing that we have that's useful. So I'm going to do that. Oh, he stopped attacking over here for some... Nope, he's attacking again. Okay. Uh, I don't know if we're going to be able to save you in time. We can certainly try. You hold your ground there for a second. I wanted to get down to Port Arthur and try to take that away from the Japanese, but it doesn't look like that's going to be an option for me. So you guys are all attacking here, yes? No, attack. Lordy, I don't know what's so stupid about that. Um, you're not going to be able to do anything over there. You guys are now pushing in this way. You get over here and try to assist. I was going to send the cavalry over here, but it looks like he stopped me. You've left this open, so I'm going to see if I can, in fact, get down to Port Arthur, and that's going to take away a major port for Japan, so it's harder for them to hopscotch their way over here. He might have it defended, though. I don't know. Um, Red, I feel like you need to be more aggressive than you currently are. I'm going to tell you to go ahead and be aggressive. Let's see what happens. Let's just see if that works. You are holding out valiantly. Uh, if I can just get a little bit of pressure right here. Push you out can possibly save you, but I don't think it's going to happen. Pretty sure he's going to die. Get down to Port Arthur. Let's see if we can take this. I don't want this guy coming and chasing me down, but it's going to spread out the uh, line a little bit thinner, so maybe he backs off. Just for a moment. This guy's going to die. Yep, there he goes. Okay. Saw that one coming. Unfortunate. Hate losing troops, but you do what you got to do. Green is not doing a very good job of holding the line, but again, it's just a delay tactic. Doesn't matter too much. Red is trying, and frankly failing, to get across the river. We're going to try to do a quick encirclement here. Keep you pinned down for a second until we can get this unit dead. It's just a militia, but whatever. Every little bit counts. Um, he's coming down toward me. I don't like that. I'm going to try to pin you down for a second. It's a losing fight, but it doesn't matter. Um, I'd just like to go ahead and thin up this front line by taking everything over here. Where are you going? You're heading your over here. Okay, that's fine. Punching through there. Good. Now, can any of you guys get into Shenyang? No. Can you guys assist me in... Stop, stop. Don't let him through. Okay, the Japanese were defending. Back up. It's not where I want to attack after all. Turns out that is a bad place to be. And we are going to get encircled if I fight there. Um, he did have troops. So he's planning for more naval invasions. That's where he's trying to launch probably over by Beijing, but he's not getting very far. Red is pushing aggressively, and it seems to be working pretty well. Uh, you assist me in finishing this guy off, please. Okay. Might be able to stop you. Don't think we're going to go fast enough. Never mind, that's not going to matter. We're not going to get an encirclement unless we go here. Maybe this will work. We can try that. Now that we have the troops to back it up, but eh, whatever. We'll try. Still struggling to get into this capital, but he's got nothing left here. If you can possibly just run in and take out this one infantry, we got a good chance of making that work. You pin this guy down, don't let him go anywhere. Pin these guys down, don't let him go anywhere. He's got no organization. Oh, nope, 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 never mind. The Japanese just sent some more. Okay. Red, I just realized I'm being aggressive up here in the north as well, which is probably not what I really want. Can you guys punch through and get to Nanjing? I don't know how much more this guy has before he's going to die, but I'm hoping it's not a lot. Second War of the Pacific. Where's mine? Where's my war? 
Am I insane? Ah, this is the one. It changed the name of the war for some reason. Now it's the Trans-Sumerian Sichuanese, Sich Sichuanese War. Whatever. All right, fine. Uh, so the Anqing, or Anqing clique uh, got a little bit of a ways to go still here. Um, I don't think just taking your capital is going to be enough. We're going to have to take a lot more victory points in the process, but we might be able to do that. I'm just trying to speed this up a little bit. Uh, not going to be able to get the encirclement there after all. Okay, that's fine. Don't care. Gonna grab that. That's fine. That's fine. Doing good. We got across the river over here. That's actually pretty significant. We're gonna push through here pretty successfully. That's good. Two more that are gonna get retreated. Uh, he just left this open, so let's see if we can indeed take advantage of that. This guy is not going to get cut off, at least. I'm gonna tell you to retreat, though. Let's go ahead and thin up this front line a little bit more. Uh, he's retreating out of his capital for some reason. Still want to send some reinforcements over here and see if we can do something about that. Get across the river. Big. Now, you guys hold that. While we try to snag his capital using my cavalry. If nothing comes in from this direction, we may actually have it. Use it tight. I think we may have it. Shen Yang, going down. Got it. Okay, that's good. Uh, we may have captured some equipment or something. Maybe. Not sure how much good it's going to do me, really, but something. So the Fenchin government should be a lot closer to death. This war. It changed again, I think, in name. Yeah, they just went down to 74% towards capitulation, so that's huge. If we could just get a few more victory points up here, we'd have him. I just got to break through somewhere. I want to break free, man. I want to break free! I want to break free! That's Queen, right? I think it's Queen. That's Freddie Mercury. Yeah, I know what that is. Um, okay, so that's going well. Um, the cavalry... If the cavalry push through here, I have a feeling it's not going to work out well for me, but maybe we can try just outrunning him. Is that stupid? It might be stupid. If I push down over here, it's not going to matter for encirclements. They'll still have some supplies coming through. If I send two cavalry and push up these directions, maybe the two of them will be able to do something. Let's go for some more artillery and a lot more infantry equipment. We actually are capturing some uh, factories, which is a nice advantage. Something that hasn't happened in a while. Okay, so these cavalry are going to lose organization pretty quickly as they go. That's one thing I'm concerned about. Let's try to keep this guy off my back. Maybe this is a bad idea. I think it is a bad idea. Or is it? You sit tight and get some organization back. Okay. You're going to continue going this direction. Let's try to get this victory point. He's left me wide open space. It's just a question of can my horsemen have enough organization to actually get there before they get cut off and we lose both of these units? That's the question. And it's a good question to ask. Let's pin you down. And make sure that these guys stop reinforcing over here. He's trying to follow me, but again, cavalry fast. This is basically using mobile, um, the mobile warfare doctrine, but without actually having good mobile units. Okay, he stopped me over here. I still think I need to grab this victory point. It's worth... A few points. Three. Fifteen up there. Actually, the fifteen might be enough. But let's try for it. I want to grab all I can. We're slowing him down. Come on, cavalry unit. Make my freaking day. So how much did three more just get me? Would you please stop changing your name? It's getting very confusing. Okay, so that only got me a few more percentage points. So not a lot. That got me what? Five more percent? That said, uh, that would tell me, if, I, if that is correct, and it's like five percent per victory point I just got, then this next one should be enough to take him out. Or, sorry, five percent for three victory points. This is close. If he's got nothing defending, we've got him. And that would actually be significant. Uh, regimental combat teams, yes. And I'm going to go ahead and spend some army experience to rush that again. I still think that's worthwhile. You guys need to retreat. You guys are idiots and need to retreat. Get up over here. Get up over here. 
Um, because if he collapses here, all the Japanese troops in this area are gonna be easy cleanup on my end. Should jump away. We're almost there. We've almost got it. We might be able to do it if we can go fast before he attacks. Don't let him get to me. Come on. Ah, he got to me. Dang it. He's got very little organization though. Okay, stop helping. Get over here. Can we resist this? The answer is yes. Okay, he lost his organization. We've almost got it. Oh, no! Dang it! All right, he got there. Okay, he's actually leaving the capital, so let's give him a second. We got reinforcements on the way of our own. Get up over here. If you leave this open, I'm taking it. Just FYI. He's walking away from it. Come on! Ah! No, don't attack! Let him leave. Let him... There we go. Go! You, pin. We're taking some serious risks here. I'm taking an awful risk, Vader. This had better work. Okay, he's pushing further over here in a really weird pattern. Did we lose more units? We did lose more green units. It's fine. It's all worth it if I can take the Fengxin government out right now. Come on, Cavalry. You're supposed to be faster. I know he's rapid deploying. Got it? Is that enough? For the love of God. Okay, he's out. Alright, so in just a few hours, the Fenchin government is going to die, and the Japanese are going to find themselves left high and dry to die. Hopefully. This could be pretty significant. We're still pushing pretty well down here toward Anqing. Russian Republic just declared war on right Ruthenia and the Kingdom of Ukraine. That's honestly fine, as long as they're not attacking me. <laughs> uh, Fenchin government is out, and we finish Assess Doctrines. Perfect. Okay, and we get a bunch of equipment. I like that. Puyi has announced the cowardly Fengxin nation can no longer withstand the pressure from the overwhelming presence of the Qing forces throughout the country, and they are down. Thank you. Assessing Doctrine. The next major issue facing the military rebuilders is the issue of doctrine. The Zili were hesitant to innovate, instead relying on old but well-tried and tested doctrine. As China modernizes, however, we may be forced to fundamentally shift our doctrine. Which direction should we take our forces in? Superior fire, power, mass assault, or grand battle plan? Well, obviously, artillery is the only way this is going to work, because we've already started down this, and I'm not wasting my time on anything else. All right, cleanup duty. Now we get to have some serious fun. The Japanese over here, very screwed. Very, very, very screwed. Uh, we do need to set up a couple of front lines in a couple key areas. So basically, most of you are going to have to go down here. And that's still a pretty, pretty wide front line. Um... I still need you to deal with this, but if we can get over here and take out, let's say, the Transomer Republic, that also frees up a lot of time for me. And actually, it gets me in a position where I could try to go for a naval invasion sneak attack on Japan, but I'm not sure how well that'll work. Maybe it goes really well. Who knows? Um, okay, but we do still need to have at least a couple of units set up around Port Arthur just to prevent these guys from going anywhere. Um, red... I think you're now going to go up over here. How do I select all the units on this again? Control, right click. All of you are now assigned here. So we can attack from the other direction while green keeps them all pinned down. Yeah? Okay, so these guys are all going to die. No, keep him down. Don't let him go anywhere. Okay, okay. Uh, I need you to turn around and go over here real quick. Prevent this guy from going anywhere. He's going to try to grab some territory over here. Not a big deal. we will be fine. So now that we've finished with the doctrines, we can go for the uneasy coalition. Whatever that's going to mean. Again, it's an event, and it's hard for me to tell what that event is going to be. Oh, you guys need to still stay here. Just in case the Japanese do decide they want to do a naval invasion. Though now I feel more comfortable sending at least a couple units up here instead. We only need one each, I think. One good entrenched infantry unit should be sufficient. Cancel their Lend-Lease. Uh, it's probably okay. You're not going to betray me, are you? I don't think I can handle that mentally. I just don't think I can handle it. Almost into Nanjing. Um, somehow have to get across the river. Bit of a struggle getting across the river, but we're almost there. How close are they to capitulating? Going to be a little bit still. Um, they are 35% of the way. Tibet is still pushing. Siam is actually making some good headway up here against us. Tibet looks like they're pretty well cut off. If you guys want to be aggressive, you can finish this off easily. Yeah, we're making good progress there too. Okay, 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 okay. So that's all cleared out. Red's on the way. 
Red, your new offensive line is to go through here. Now, he's going to try to push out, but it's not going to matter because he has no supply generation, so over time these guys will lose steam. It's just a matter of holding them back long enough. Let's go ahead and finish this guy off too. Some Marines for the Japanese. Don't like them. Apparently, we only have one Japanese soldier. I'm going to try to keep him pinned down while you actually just grab Port Arthur and keep him out of the way. You guys are doing fine. Um, let's... Do I want to go over here and split his forces? Dare I? Really, this is what I want to do. Can I not go through here? Is there some sort of a mountain? I'm not sure. For some reason, I can't go across that way. Oh, it's a giant lake. You can't even tell. The white lake blends perfectly into the coloring. Whatever, it's fine. All right, so I think that this Japanese soldier is going to die. That's going to be a major port under my control. Good. This guy is going to be dying. That's fine. Let's go ahead and start uh, applying a bit of pressure to these guys. They're going to start running out of equipment pretty quickly. This militia up over here are starting to die off. Good, good, good. Let's go ahead and apply some pressure there. We'll take some losses, but it's okay. How are we doing on equipment? We actually finally are in the positive. I'm losing a lot of equipment, but we're getting closer. Okay, good, 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 good. So does this mean that I have enough artillery that I could start going for some support artillery? The answer is yes. Let's go ahead and add in some there. We need to change out so many of our templates, to be honest. They're just terrible. Garbage, garbage templates. Um, for some reason, the Japanese have not done much to defend Korea. It is entirely possible that instead of worrying about these guys, we can just do a quick blitz through Korea and take out a lot of the Japanese industry. And unfortunately, he has more troops defending Port Arthur than I thought. Still, in a one-on-one -on -one fight, he's got pretty low organization. It looks like just a basic militia unit, so he might be able to finish it off. Uh, you can't do anything. We have some extra factories. Okay. Go for some more artillery. I'm going to need a lot of support equipment if I want to start taking advantage of things like signal companies and uh, support uh, engineers, make these guys better. We don't have any of the basics, you know? So we got to do something about that. That that can't stand. Okay, the Unking clique just died. Perfect. So they're out. I have most of the war score. That looks like Guangzhou got a fair bit. Um, most of the stuff is extremely cheap for me, so I should be able to take quite a bit. Can't take that much, though. Hang on. Take that. Dare I pass? Yes. Pass once. He takes that. I'm going to take Wuhu. I'm going to try to cut him off over here. I think this is all rightfully mine. Thank you. Actually, I can take everything. Perfect. Do this. And what's left? There's one more state up here I didn't notice. Perfect. Done. Okay, so we get almost everything. Good job, good job, good job. Red. Assign a bunch of troops over there. We're going to take over Shanghai. Get that back under our control. It is rightfully ours to begin with. You guys are going to go over here and take out Ningbo. That is also rightfully mine. You guys are going to set up a quick front line over here. Just grab all the legation cities. And some of you guys are going to head down over here and attempt to assist as well. Not that I think we'll be able to do much, but I need to get down to Hong Kong. So anyone else still going north? Is everyone assigned? Yes, everyone appears to be assigned to some sort of a legation city. We'll be able to take them down, and we don't even have to fight against the Western powers. That is a significant boon for me. It really is. Still doing fine over here. Red is still redeploying. It's a little slow up in the far north, but that's fine. Let's go ahead and start pushing this way. Can we get over here? Can we just take this? Vladivostok? Vladivostok. Grab it. Let's try going down here. We're going to cut off some troops against... Uh, looks like he has... One port up in Imperatorskaya? 
the crud is that? Anyway, we're going to try to start pushing, grab some of his victory points. I want to take this guy out. He had a few troops left, but I think we've encircled and killed almost all of them at this point. I will say, this war was looking really, really bad for us for a good chunk of the game. I'm honestly surprised that we're pulling this off right now. Um, and it n is, again, it's not because we had superior units at all. It is only because of this play, I think, that we were able to turn the game, crush a really substantial part of the Japanese army, and then crush, I think, the majority, or at least half, of Siam and the Philippines and the Transumer Republic's army. That was a significant move. And from there, we bought enough time in just the right places to pull this one off. Looks like we are going to get Port Arthur, which means these Japanese soldiers are going to die. No, don't let him go anywhere. I'm tired of this. Stop him. Stop him. Keep him out of here. You guys are actually going to come down here, and we're just going to get a quick encirclement on this and take him out. We can almost get to Pyongyang. Can you attack here, please? Thank you. So these guys are going to die. That's a couple more Japanese soldiers down. It's death by a thousand cuts, basically. Get into Shanghai. All of you get into Shanghai. There's, there's really no reason to slow down, especially if he's going to leave me an opening right there. I say we go for it. Take these legation cities down there. I'm, I'm hoping there's going to be a load of factories because these were Western developed. And it looks to me like it should be, right? Let's take a look. Shanghai? Can I please click on the actual territory? Thank you. We have no idea. They got 15 out of 25 unlocked slots. So we know there's 10 buildings there. Fall of Shanghai! It has been over 70 years since a Chinese person could stand on the Bund and truly call it their own, but thanks to the effort of the Qing troops, a new flag flies proudly from the top of the customs building. Despite the city's international protections, the victory came somewhat easily, as Shanghai's police forces and limited garrison could put up little resistance against a real army. The general population barely resisted, and their non-cooperation cannot have aided the already bare-bones defenses. The international city's future now seems unclear, as its prosperity has always built on the back of trades and foreign investment. Uncertainty reigns, and the futures of the city city's foreign residents are also in doubt. Finally, Shanghai belongs to me, suckers! Alright, so that's all gone. Beautiful. Uh, you guys should be able to get in here pretty quick. I assume you guys can just rush in here and take this too. Why not? Just grab it, dude. Grab everything. Alright, so green can push, red can push. You need an offensive line to get through Korea. You guys need an offensive line through the Transmer Republic. Go. If you guys do this correctly, I think we're going to get a lot of extra Japanese casualties. This is taken care of. Perfect. There are some more encirclements. Casual. Can you actually just go ahead and grab Pyongyang? And then circle through this way, and that ensures anything up here is going to die. You're going to push along the coastline. You're going to just run into him so he can't go anywhere and do anything. You're going to push through here. Okay, clean up duty. I think that Japan's starting to run out of steam, which surprises me. I would have thought that they had a much larger army than this. But so far, we seem to be doing okay. I don't think this cavalry is going to be able to make it much further. Maybe we can. I'd like to encircle a couple units here if possible. Pin him down. Okay, so we got his capital. Let's continue working up to Tetsukie. Or whatever you call it. How close are you to capitulating at this point? Where am I? There we are. You are... Well, the legation cities are almost gone. Transform Republic, you are 54% of the way to capitulation. It's going to be a while before I can do anything against Japan and the Philippines. That's one major issue for me. But, I'll at least be able to hold the mainland under control. And then just protect myself along the coasts. Do you have anything defending legation cities? Nothing defending Lingbo. Okay. So you're just going to walk right the heck in there. I'm actually going to send a bunch of you this way. And it looks like we should be able to just work our way along the coast down to Hong Kong. He's got nothing. Legation cities have nothing at this point. Very low organization. Got it. Got it. Um, Still cleaning up over here. Looking good, though. He's got nothing. Can you guys push this guy back? We're just going to keep you pinned and make you start losing some equipment. Cleaning up over here still. Shocking that took that long. Cavalry, you go ahead and walk this way. Perfect. Good, 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 good. Um, for some reason, we did not actually get the encirclement I was expecting. You go this way. Make sure these guys have no supply. This guy's doing a good job of keeping them pinned down. All right, all right. More troops trained. Oh my gosh, I'm getting units? What do you know? I've actually got enough equipment I can actually start training new troops. 
It's a Christmas miracle! All right, get over here. We're gonna start working our way along the coast, and we're gonna make sure that he has no ports to work with. Nothing. Cavalry, go get Soul. Down over here. You. Down this way. Perfect. These guys are all gonna be encircled. Let's try to prevent him from going anywhere. You assist, clear him out. Perfect, perfect. Oh my gosh, I can't believe we're gonna pull this off. This is so stupid. It's actually kind of stupid that we're going to pull this off. I feel like we don't deserve it. Had I understood a bit more about how this mod was going to work uh, in this particular national focus tree, there's probably a few things I would have done differently. But I'm pretty proud that it worked out the way that it did. Now, taking out Japan officially is going to be tough. Don't think that this is over by any stretch of the imagination. I mean, this, this entire series is going to be very much uh, personified, or uh, whatever you want to call it by our struggle against Japan. But, once that's done, I'll feel like we're in a good position to end it. Now, I'll have to figure out if there's any way for us to formally get the cliques back under our control. I would not be surprised at all if they say, hey, now that Japan is down, we don't care about you anymore. That might happen. We'll see. Portugal owns Macau. Of course they do. That makes sense, actually, historically. If I wanted to take Macau, I'd have to go and fight the Entente. Which doesn't sound like a lot of fun, I'll be honest. Sounds like a really, really bad time. Uh, he's letting me just walk right up to Hong Kong so far. We can at least cross this river and keep him encircled, so he's gonna die now. Hurry up! Transfer Republic has capitulated, giving me a lot more stuff. Thank you. Okay. Um, there's not gonna be a lot left over here, but let's go ahead and make sure that one, we have some stuff there, we have some stuff here, so I need a few troops. You guys are assigned there. You guys are assigned up here. Offensive line, take Imperator. And you guys work your way over to Toyahara. Okay. Good. And if we can indeed get some sort of little sneak attack up over here in Ainu and take over from the north, that at least will put Japan on the back heel. Usually, Japan keeps at least a handful of units as a garrison on the islands, but they commit most of their forces to the mainland. Now, granted, we've been pushing him off for a while, so he might... Actually, I need you to turn around real quick. Go grab this port. That's more important. Keep him dead. Uh, so he might have pulled most of his army back here in Japan. And if that is the case, then it's going to be a little difficult for me to finish him off. Because he'll have a lot of troops here. If we actually have slaughtered more of the Japanese prime main army from encirclements than I thought, then it might be a bit of a steamroll. Kind of depends. We'll see. Um, I think I still want more support equipment. Let's see. We do not have a ton. But if we can get that, that would be amazing. I do need to trade for a little bit of aluminum. Or aluminium, if you're the type of person who believes in saying things like that, like a silly person. There you go. Clear this out. You clear this out. Finish them off, please, and thank you. Fall of Hong Kong! Troops from the Qing Empire have captured the former British Crown Colony of Hong Kong after breaking through the Gin Drinker's line and landing on Hong Kong Island itself. The situation soon became untenable for the defenders, and the governor surrendered in person at the Peninsula Hong Kong Hotel, where the Qing had established their headquarters. After a brief ceremony, a new Qing governor was installed and announced a new Hong Kong to the world, free of Western colonialism. No, uh, Western colonialism or Western imperialism? You decide! So, wait, Hong Kong is not under my control? Because that doesn't look like it's under my control to me. I can't click on it. Okay, get out of Hong Kong for a second. There it is. Owned by the Legation Cities. No, it's me. Oh, I just couldn't tell. That is my dark color over here. We're fine. Never mind. We're good. Guangzhou, um, we're going to have to take this back for our ally. Oh, the Legation Cities is dead. Perfect. Okay, so we did not get most of the... War score, unfortunately. I definitely want to take Shanghai, but I'm going to have to pass. I don't think he's going to take anything beyond Hong Kong. Which he did take. So he's going to get a couple of these cities down here, which sucks, but not surprising. Um, pass, take Shanghai. Pass, take this, take this. Done. All right, so we got three of the major cities. So you got two states, I got three. Not bad, not bad. Uh, what is this? The Fengqian government has territory over here. How'd that happen? I don't know, but we should take them down. And then we should assist against our enemy, Siam. So we're gonna have, let's say, you guys go down here. And all of you 
Assist over here. We could assist against Tibet, but I would think you guys can handle this at this point. You should be able to. If you can't, then you don't deserve anything that's going to happen here. Let's get down there. And you guys are going to assist up against Siam. Gosh, this is weirdly wonky. Alright, we'll try for that. I don't know. Kind of weird borders. Why can't I cross through here? I don't know, but I can't. What's this? Alright, that's owned by the Germans. Okay. The German color is similar enough to mine. That's where I was kind of thinking was going to happen with Hong Kong. I'm like, why did we just hand this off to Germany? But we did not. It's fine. Okay. Clean up, clean up. We're doing good. Pin him down. You're going to continue doing this. Work your way over here. Work your magic. We're going to grab Busan. And the Commune of France declares war on Fran Flanders. How are they doing, by the way? Looks like a bit of a glorious stalemate, doesn't it? World War II has not made, like, any meaningful progress. The Germans and the French are doing practically nothing. How are the United States doing? The American Union state is going to win this. Well, I say that. Wait a minute. They're also fighting against the Entente. I don't know why the Pacific states haven't joined anything, so it looks like King Edward VIII decided he didn't like the American Union state and wants to fight. So the question is, is the American Union state going to be so strong that they're actually able to take out Canada? How's Hawaii doing? The Commune of Hawaii, of course. Friggin' hippies in Hawaii! That's fine. Huh. Alright. So what's gonna end up happening, I wonder, once Japan no longer is actually a threat? Very curious how this is gonna work. Let's go ahead and clean these guys up. Get them out of here. We got this. Alright. So these guys are all dead. Beautiful. Beautiful. Still working our way up over here. So the Philippines left some troops over here for some reason. We can attack from multiple angles. You guys are going to push. You get over there. Cavalry. Let's see if we can get all the way down here to this port. Okay. I really wish that we had a navy. We actually do have three dockyards building up some submarines, so I guess I should be happy that I even have that much, but there you go. But yeah, okay. So now we're in a pretty good position. Um, if these guys betray me all at once, we're dead. But if I'm able to turn this around and actually take out Japan and then solidify my control a little bit, uh, enough to respond to these guys, we'll be in a pretty good position. And I actually do have enough equipment that we are going to be training up some troops, which means now is the time to start changing up some templates. But I will come back to that in the next video. Thank you all very much for watching. I do hope that you enjoyed. If so, then I'm going to ask you to hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. All right. Let's go ahead and do it.